Hello everyone, my name is Imanshu Tiwari. Guys, today I am going to give you a complete introduction as well as working uh, demo of HTML5. So just get ready. Open up your um, browsers as well as um, your code editors so that you can you know start with HTML5. So whatever I am going to do here, you just have to uh, keep doing that and keep uh, recognizing and learning that um, so just start with the basic tags I will be starting with the basic tags and then we'll moving on to different types of tags I will be also telling what type of tags you are going to use in your product projects sorry uh, you are going to use in your projects in your um, future projects which you are going to make so HTML is the base and it's you know it's a skeleton part for web developers so if you don't know html and sorry you cannot you cannot be a web developer so for being a web developer for the sake of being a web developer you should know html and right now the html5 is in the craze so we'll be going with the html5 and uh, let's just not waste some time let's start can also comment anytime in the comment section uh, my team will be answering your questions so just you know if you have any in case you have any problem keep on commenting and if you have any issue with my voice or something you can also tell that so uh, let's just start I have created a new file using this over button so you just clicked here and I created a new file index.html what i'm going to do is you know work in this index.html so if you are using visual studio code for the first time you have to go to the visual studio code downloads and uh, like i have opened my browser over here and what i'm going to do is just write visual studio code download so whenever i click here i will just go and download the visual studio code uh, you all can download the visual studio code for windows for Debian for Ubuntu users and for Mac users so I have already downloaded the Visual Studio code so I don't need it anymore so what I'm going to do is just work here on Visual Studio code and if you are uh, if you have downloaded the Visual Studio code then you can just go over here and this is the extension part click over here and like I have searched for HTML CSS you, you can also search for HTML and CSS just click and it will show you the extension what extension does is whenever i write any type of code it automatically writes regenerates the other part so it's just so handy and easy if you can um, use this extension part it will also help you to generate the complete code like if i complete this it will automatically generate the end part so this is how the um, extension works so you can just download it from here just install it and you can use it anytime after you have installed this you can just move on and uh, close this now what we are going to do is start with the HTML tags before starting HTML tags I will recommend you to also download go live in live server you just have to go there again and just click like type live server and it will search for the live server or you can just check whether you have installed or not so it's installed already into my pc so it's no use for me right now and uh, then you can work on it like starting with the basic tags okay so first of all the basic tag for you is html what I'm going to do is write an HTML. What HTML does is it gives a it gives a base, you know, it gives a skeleton. This is that's why we can we call it a skeleton approach, you know. It's a skeletal language, a skeletal a skeleton for your web uh, websites. So HTML has a markup uh, way to write. So we have to use that way. So that's why HTML tags we can start. We always start with HTML tags. Then HTML tags contain two basic tags that is head and body. So after completing this, 
look at this the html tag has two basic tags head and body and whatever we write comes under either head or either body so head text contains basically the tags which uh, we don't want to uh, see on the front page you know uh, on the front side but it should be important it will be important for the browser for the server and uh, for backend but we don't want it to be looking uh, look at the front so just and body tag will uh, contain those things which are going to be uh, seen on the front of the website so let's start with the head tag what head tag consists is it consists of meta tags mark the words meta tags and title tag so what i'm going to do is write title over here so what title does is it gives a title to your html document so whatever i give it a title like uh, like dsc pgda so what i have given is a title dsc pgda and now i'm just going to give you uh like whatever i just write over here and then control s will save this file this dot over here will represent that it's unsaved and whenever i press ctrl s it will automatically save this file and then i will move on to the go live when i will click this go live it will automatically go live and present to you the screen so this is what i have you know written in the body tag and it's not our concern right now the concern is this dsc pgdab you can see this it's the it's the title of the screen Okay, so let's move on to the HTML part. Now, whenever I will press Control S, I don't have to refresh over here. It will automatically see. Uh, it will automatically, you know, change or refresh. So that's what the live server is for. That's why I was saying that live live server is is time saving and also, you know, it is effective. So let's move on. Uh, you can see the title. After the title, there is body tag head and head tag is closed this is how our tag is closed using the slash over here so in the body tag there are different types of tag you can use like to start with i will tell you about h1 any heading tags there are six heading tags you can use like i am writing my name over here himanshu and then control s will save this file and as soon as we move on here it will automatically show you my name with very bold text form font so this is himanshu in h1 any heading one tag when i write it in heading three tag it will automatically you know um, make it a bit smaller from h1 like you can see the difference is completely visible so this is how h tags use we, we can use six html tags i won't be erasing it right now because you can just you know go ahead and read it like uh like in different programming languages which we use like c plus plus python or whatever you always comment here in html we can comment our you know comment for our viewers and for our colleagues so that they can understand what is going on so what i'm going to do is show you how to comment in HTML, you have to uh, go for the angle brackets like this, and then an exclamation mark and two hyphens. The Visual Studio Code automatically generates the rest part. So, in between those four hyphens, like here, this and this, we have to write our comment. Like I am writing, uh, this is a comment part. Is a uh, comment part so what i have written is this is a comment part and now as we know comments are not visible on the front screen i am saving this file and i'm going here and it is not visible himanshu and tiwari is already visible over here but the comment section is not visible so really easy to comment and it's helpful it's very good practice to comment so we can always you know use this on format to comment things after heading the most basic thing is e tags 
P tag is paragraph tags. Like you can see the paragraph is for something you can write in it, like whatever I write. I am generating a fake text using lorem. So you can always generate a fake text. Okay, so just generate your fake text or whatever you write will be written in the paragraph tag. Like I go here and oh I haven't saved yet. So what I'm going to do is just control S and go here and see that fake text is here. Okay, so what paragraph tag is going to do is just you know, show you a paragraph. There are different alternatives for paragraph tag, um, which I'm going to tell you soon. But the basic things are it's heading tags and paragraph tags. What else is div tag? So div tag is something you are going to use um, use most often in your um, web projects. So start getting used to div tags. Div tags are like a block elements. They generate a block in which whatever it contains, it will be unique and it will be uh, you know viewed separately. Like if I I write something inside the div tag here like i write up i i will first of all give a paragraph and then write hey there i am manshu typo in my line okay so here there i am manshu and control s will save it then i will con just copy and paste it so that it will create another one for me and after saving this i can see here that there is a gap between this what it does is these div tags separates it shows the browser that they are two different block of elements they are two different block of elements they need to be separated from the above element as well as from the below element so it gives an automatic space from this side uh, and this side and this side so that's what div tag is for and div tag um, is useful for your css as well we write different classes and ids so that's a different thing let's just into the html only so after the div tags there are different types of other tags so i'm going to clean it a little bit so let's move ahead yeah now before moving on i wanted to show you something like if you are using um if you are using this visual studio code you can just go ahead and erase it and always use a boiler plate whatever you can say um a boiler html tags sheet which will automatically generate you the basic bone structure and what you have to do is just an exclamation mark and press and enter and it will it will automatically generate you the the basic html part like the doc type what doc type is for doc type defines the browser that it is an html document and then here's a language uh, which defines that we are writing in english language en it's not necessary it's kind of you know handy for uh, visual studio code to you know just add it so then meta tags meta tags uh, adds you know a more custom information you can always go on w3 schools or mdn docs i would prefer mdn docs go there and you can read more about it and uh, let's move on in the body tag what we were doing um then after the div tags there are different types of other tags like navigation tag in html5 new tags are added so nav tag is for navigation and then a different section if you want to add a different section there are different section tags and as we say yeah and uh, also article there are different article tags so what it does it it's like a div tag what uh, nav and section is like it's these are like div tags different div tags but they have a specific name now whenever a person opens a document and sees 
diff tag okay then another diff tag okay then diff tag again then diff tag again now he cannot understand what these diff tags are made for but in this case these diff tags are you know these are diff tags but they are defined by their names like whenever i, I open this index.html i can see a nav tag okay nav tag is for navigation it's confirmed next move on to this okay it's a section tag section tag is for adding a section to the web page okay this section may have some other cards okay now it's understood let's move on to the article tag article is for adding in articles so these things are readable and that's what these things are made for html5 is that's why that is why html5 is awesome because it, it helps user and programmers a lot so let's uh, like write some things in nav tag and then section and then article so what i'm going to do is just remove this section because it's no use to us yeah so after the section nav and article tags we will move on to the image tag so let's add an image how to add an image you can see different websites having images how can your website have an image so what i'm going to do is add an image img is for image tag and as soon as you press the enter button here it will automatically you know generate now what it will generate is you can uh, type whatever like uh, src for the source source is where your file is now i don't have a image right now what i will do is go on the web type an image like give me an image of a dog so what uh, dog or you know give me a image of a google so i mean google just right here go on the image section and you can find an image of google so you just click here and then right click and copy image address just copy the image address move on close this tag okay just go on and then control v what control v uh, did is just you know it type the link now whenever your html um, will be working it will automatically go and search for this file on the web so that's how you can use an image tag there are different attributes in a tag What's important is to understand the attributes. There are limited tags. You can see the MDN references there. There are uh, limited tags, but there are different attributes in it. A tag, can, a tag can consist of different attributes, like it's a source attribute. Then you can move on to the ALT. Uh, okay, so what ALT will do is it will, you know, it will uh, generate a text for the image. In case your image is not loaded, so it will just show you the text. So I will write a uh, Google. Google. Okay. So this is how an image is embedded. And uh, what I'm going to do is Control S and check whether the image is here or not. Oh, it is here, but it's very huge in size because i have already uh, zoomed it a lot so what i'm going to do is just this you can see this this beautiful image yeah yeah so uh let's move on to the other tags this is an image tag then you can also add navigation bars like uh in navigation bar we can add different ul and li tags so I will be writing UL. UL means unordered list. So unordered list will be created and having different li tags. What AI, um, what UL tags and li tags will do is it will create an unordered list. So let's just create a list over here. So this will create a list of unordered list unordered list is like we can't see whether which number of list is there it will be more suitable for me to explain you with an example like if i write uh, i am a good person i believe i am so and then add in another ally what i'm going to do is just copy and paste and another one paste so i'm a good person or I'm a bad person 
or I am the worst person you have ever seen. So if I am the worst person you have ever seen, you won't be watching this. So just press the control S and go ahead and see and here you can see this. There are unordered list. The top. Yeah. If you can see. So let me check again. Now it's more visible to you. Um, this UL text. Now if I press, uh, if I keep it as OL ordered list. So what it will do is, let's see, it will give them a number. One, two, three. So that's what ordered and unordered list is for. We basically use unordered list a lot because we have to create a navigation bar. So we'll have to use li tags. Now, uh, what else is there? Um, okay, if we want to make these uh, these text as a link, like if I'm a good person, take me to take me to take me to college website, and if I'm a bad person, take me to netflix and if i'm a worst person then take me to google classroom so what we have to do is we have to create anchor tags anchor tag is for creating a link let me just give us some space a tag is anchor tag and it has a closing element so we will just you know use it Copy this and just paste it here. Okay, so what here comes as a link, a tag will automatically make a link to whatever the content we give in the middle. So what it will do is it, it will make a link, but this link should go somewhere. That's why we use hyperlink reference at our EF. So hyperlink, uh, it will, you know, contains a URL or a URL fragment that the hyperlink points to so clearly written over here. And, uh, if we want to go, um, uh, to just google.com, so we will write google.com. I hope it works. Okay. See if it works or not. We will save it and just go and check. Now it is in blue color why it is in blue color because it's a link as usually you can see on various other websites it's it's always blue or you can even change it using css uh, and now it's okay cannot get google.com because uh, the lame you know i haven't added https and all that so no worries for now we will just make it a hash so that we can just you know change whatever you want so a tags for creating a hyperlink next is hr tag now what is hr tag is uh, when we write hr and just press in this if we hover here you can see that the hr element represents a paragraph level thematic break you know a scene change in a story or a transition to another topic with a section of a reference HR tag is for a horizontal row tag, simply speaking. And whenever we press uh, just check in this, this small bar over here, this one is this line is the line is for the HR tag. It will create a break between the upper tags and lower tags wherever we write. Like I have used this HR tag here. Okay. So if you find your HTML messed up, just Right click on the screen anywhere and just press and format document or you can use this shortcut. I personally don't use this shortcut because I use it somewhere as well. So format document and it will format the whole document in a better way. You know everything is with the spaces and all. So I was already formatting everything. That's helpful if you guys are new to the environment of visual studio code now moving on uh, to link tag well link tag is something you can learn in css as well while learning css but don't uh, you know it's not necessary so i will be telling you the basics of link tag link tag actually links two different types of documents together 
like if i want it want to link my css file with html file or my javascript file with html file i can use link tags like i am writing here the link tag actually generates uh, actually combines them so here's an attribute a rel a rel is for you know what is this link tag related to you can say this so it is related to a style sheet if you want to add a style sheet here so it is related to a style sheet and what is the link for this you know what is the href so we can write href and then there's no style.css right now but i'm just writing it okay so there's no style.css right now no worries but i'm just writing it to tell you that if you create a style.css and you want to link it to your html document you have to use this link link tag okay right now we don't have to use this i'm not going to use it next is um what else is left okay uh, some break tags dr tags uh, honestly you're not going to use brayart dr tags in anywhere in your code uh, while writing professional codes but right now as you want you can use it like here i wanted some breaks so i will use a br tag and then another br tag and then another br tag so i have consecutively used three br tags and i'm just saving it and checking what happened there is a space between these two texts what br tag did you can see this you can see this br tag uh, entered there's an enter there's an enter there's an enter you can, it created some spaces so what this is what br tag does it breaks the line br is for the break line so i personally don't use br tags because and you should also not use br tag it's not a good practice if you use br tags because you can use you can use uh css for this thing so never use this uh, let's move on to the article and here's are some things more like if you want something you know um more tags like html5 gives a lot of variety of text words and like navigation article and section tags there are two type two more tags uh, they are uh, header tags and footer tags so header tag is is something that have header and uh, header will just you know tell user who is looking to your code or your mate who is looking to your code will uh, he will uh, it will tell them uh, the header tag will tell them that you have to you know mark this section of code as header and this should be at the top it's just a, like a div tag that's just like a div tag if you place a div tag here it doesn't matter a lot but header is for you know for helping your browser your your uh, your mate who is reading the code or your user to understand what's going on in the code what's happening actually similarly as header tag uh, there are footer tags so header and footer two parts header at the top and footer at the bottom so we have a footer tag and uh, inside a footer tag we can use anything like we write anything and that should be that should be it's not going to be like if i write anything here and just press ctrl s and save and see so um, let me yeah zoom out something you can see this it's it's in the bottom but if we write this footer tag above this image tag then it will be here only it will not go in the bottom why because it's like a div tag it's telling your browser that it's a footer and your uh, reader who is going to read this is understanding it as a footer but actually you know when you write it that's what the footer does you know anything you want at the end of uh, your code you just write it in a footer tag that's how the chronology is now in footer tag uh, we can write anything like uh, thank you and all and copyright signs so i won't be writing anything right now in the footer tag um, before footer 
there is one more thing to tell you and that's the most important thing of the whole video part you have ever you have seen because div tags are something you are going to use every day and uh, then the navigation ul li image a these are the tags which, which you are going to use every day but one more thing is more important than these it's form tag so creating a form is also very much important if you are learning html and you should know how to create form uh, if in case you have any issues you can just go to the mdn reference you can see the link https dot um, colon slash slash de uh, developer dot mozilla dot org slash docs slash web slash html slash element slash form so this link will take you to the form section of mdn docs and you can learn and read and apply more forms so moving on form form has an attribute named action as you can see so what action is action is something you know it it is for um, backend purpose actually like if we want our php file or our backend file to be attached with our form so that we can have the information which user enters in the form so we add a form uh, we add an action to the form like in case in my case if i want um there are other files these are the other files which my editor has what action and uh, like whatever page dot php so this is the php file which i want there's no php such file in the directory but whatever you know i can write also hash over here so i don't have a php file but a dot php extension will work better so whatever i write page dot php imagine a php file is in our directory which is going to have this and the next important thing to be mentioned is method method either get or post only two things can be entered here get or post so what get does is you know takes let me just show you what it does so you can just go ahead and write a label and uh, a label um label you know have an attribute for for means telling it why are you creating a label so for uh, for the username so a username is and then uh, then next thing is what the label should consist of like first name okay so first name is the label and closing a label tag and after that just as soon as after that you have to create an input input is an another important tag which takes input from the user so input should have type which can be you can see the different types of input text buttons checkbox color date date time date time local email file hidden image month password radio reset what we basically use most is text so i'm going to use text and you can try all these in your code editor when you get time you are practicing it again you are going to get a week to practice it so just practice a lot html and try making some awesome looking html pages so um just type text and then um you can add ids we basically i write ids like a username so username uh id and then name name is a different attribute like username we are using the same uh same thing again and again id and that same then input tag is closed so what it will do is it will create an input bar i will show you in just a second just let me add some breaks that it should be separated from different things and have some space around it um here also i can add some breaks 
now this control s will save it and then you can check it over here what it did is it created a label this is the form tag let me zoom it a little bit so yeah it is In the bottom of the screen here is the form the label and this is the input bar here you can write whatever you know what like dungeon uh so um write it and you can just submit it now to submit where you can submit is you have to create a submit button so let's just make a submit button over here so um let's create another um, input tag with some space over here so i will be using br and uh, this in Input and input type should be uh, submit and, and then uh, value it should contain a value so oh shit sorry yeah value value should be equal to submit only so um, because we are going to use it again and again so that's why yeah input type submit and value submit should have submit written inside it and then you can check it and here is a submit button kind of a submit button when we click here you can see the username is equals to why i did is just write here dungeon and then submit this is why you use get and when you use post it's not going to show that when c cannot get page.php because i haven't created any file page.php but what you need to see is this part this username equals to and then written over here that's what the get does it actually tells the you it tells everything into the url and when we you know when we uh go ahead and uh just where is the get yeah we write post and let's let's just check what happened uh when we are doing it so there is nothing this is the name page.php and nothing else there's no us username or something like that that's what the difference is between get and post so use according to what you need and uh, i think that these are things these things are enough uh, for html you have learned a lot today and try different things try uh, learning from mdn docs and w3 school you can learn a lot about and uh, if you in case if you have any problem you can contact anytime to the dsc and uh, do check our github page uh, we will be giving you some work over there so you can just um, work over there and then uh, also center tag and font tag these two are the tags which basically most people use but let me tell you center and font tags are not valid in html5 maybe your uh, browser handles it right now but uh, these are not uh, you know valid in html5 so i hope uh, you guys have learned something today and i hope guys you guys have liked it and uh, see you later guys next week with css